as much as we would love to work with anyone who needs our services, the reality is that we're probably too expensive for a lot of you. And that's not a bad thing. Oftentimes, if you're trying to build a traditional e-commerce store or just a website that can handle some e-commerce capabilities as we discussed in the first video, there's so many great resources already online for you. For example, Shopify and Squarespace. You're not gonna find a better bang for your buck. You have a full online store with SEO and good looking aesthetics and you didn't have to hire a full-time designer or become a marketing wizard to have proper execution. You can't beat that. And the reason why we often recommend individuals that reach out to us to go here first is because it's a great way to prove your concept. So we did a whole nother video on what is a MVP, a minimum viable product which we'll link below. But the reality is you can do the same exact philosophy that you do with startups and main products with your e-commerce store. Before you go and spend thousands of dollars of a company like us or hiring in house, you can go in for pennies on the dollar, build your own e-commerce solution, pay monthly, and validate if you can actually get customers and actually make money. If you can do that first, then you can start thinking about, is it worth me to put my own time, energy, and money in investing in something that's mine? Oftentimes, people skip this step. They just go right into hiring us and spending thousands of dollars. And the reason why we turn them against that is for exactly this. What if what you believe will sell online doesn't? Or what if your price point's all wrong? Or what if your branding needs to be tweaked? Or countless other reasons, right? Like that what goes into making a business a good business. And you can validate these baseline assumptions for your company first, or the way you plan to execute online, then you're not only going to better mitigate the risk of investment with us, you're also more likely gonna succeed because you're already gonna know what your customers are gonna look for and want, and that's huge. Now, some of you probably are already beyond this point, or you know you need your own intellectual property, a Shopify solution, a Squarespace solution, a Wix solution, they won't cut it. Understandable, a company like us though is interesting. So we are a high quality design development firm. And we don't beat around a bush about that. We don't try to overprice our customers ever. We're not shy about the fact that a traditional e-commerce platform with us, if we are going to build something custom, at a bare minimum, you can spend about $5,000 all the way up to about $15,000, depending on the size, scope, and complexity of what you need. Now, if you can justify that investment and you believe it's worth it, why do you do this? This is because you want your own intellectual property. You have something that's a special skill set that you need to depend on. Or maybe because now you're generating so much money online that you're losing too much of a cut using a third party tool, such as what we mentioned before. This is when these routes are worth it. Plus you get more control of Pacific analytics and data. And on top of that, you have better control of your own customers. And above all, you're not depending on a third party solution anymore. This is all you. So there is a lot of pros to going with us. On top of that, we do custom design, we do custom development, we're working around your brand, your company. But it takes a special skill set and it takes a specific situation to make it work for a while. And to make sure that you're going to see an ROI on your investment, which is our top objective as is many other quality development firms and shops around the world. Before you go and just fully custom program an e-commerce solution with us, know that there's some awesome frameworks that even we at Chopdog use to help mitigate the investment risk for our clients and have the same amount of upside. For example, for many years we used Magento. But now we're using WordPress with WooCommerce. WooCommerce is incredible. And for a lot of you who might be even fairly technical, you might not even need us in order to go get a platform up there that's your own intellectual property. So we will go and do full custom designs and manipulate WordPress to work around you. Some people don't need that. And it's important to understand that you can still have an incredible, high quality e-commerce platform built around your needs at still a fraction of the cost that usually the consumer comes to expect. Let's break down for a minute what kind of costs you're looking at overall. If you're going through a solution such as Shopify, you're often going to spend a monthly fee. Sometimes you can do yearly for a discount, but for the context here, most individuals will go monthly. It can be as small as like 30, 40 bucks a month, all the way up to a couple hundred bucks a month. On surface, this is great in the short term because it's a great way, as we mentioned, to validate your concept, prove you can make money, and do it in a cost-effective solution and in the quickest time frame possible. However, oftentimes this is a very expensive long-term solution because that couple hundred bucks a month will add up quickly versus if you hire a company like Chopdog, once you have it built, there's no more recurring costs. You're not gonna have to keep paying a couple hundred bucks a month just to have it online. In fact, a company like us often include free hosting and maintenance and bug warranty. So really your only cost after you're all said and done is your merchant fees, 
which is a different conversation. So a merchant fee is when a merchant processor, for example, Stripe, Braintree, Authorize.net, to name a few, will take a percentage of the transaction for running that transaction on your behalf. That's when you use a credit or debit card and talking to those companies and taking out the money of those funds and giving it to you. Usually a merchant will charge more from 3% to 4%, give or take some change. So it's important to make sure you adopt that in your business model. But granted, brick and mortar locations also pay merchant fees unless you're cash only. So it's not something brand new, but oftentimes it's something you need to think about when it comes to, hey, am I gonna pay a couple hundred bucks a month, but they cover everything? Or will I pay maybe 10 grand, have my own store, but now I'm gonna pay merchant fees forever. You have to balance out when are you going to see ROI, when is it going to be more economical for you, and what is going to be worth your while. Again, some individuals might need their own IP, their own intellectual property, versus a beautiful templated design. There's also one more solution. This is the full-on custom development. We gave a couple examples earlier with Demander, Treasurebee, with Hirebid. These are solutions that no matter what require full design, full programming because they're so distinct and they're so unique versus other use case scenarios. These are businesses built completely custom around their consumer and both their e-commerce store and their product are one and the same. Yes, they're marketplaces, but they're also products and experiences simultaneously. And costs of these type of custom projects can be starting at least at $25,000 up to six digits. They're very special use cases. You have to make sure that you keep that in mind when you're thinking about I want to build a product to handle certain monetization strategies using e-commerce philosophies versus I just need a traditional e-commerce marketplace or store.